is a rather brief tour of the new Oak National Academy online classroom. So if you do have access to um, this virtual classroom, it's incredibly useful. I'm going to divide this tour, this brief explanation into two distinct areas. One is the mainstream lessons and the second is the newer specialist learning and therapies part of the online classroom. So I'll indicate when I'm going to move on to the second part um, so that if you don't need to look at that, you don't think it's applicable, you don't need to continue to watch. So I'm going to look at the mainstream lessons first of all. And you go up here to, there's two ways you can do it. You can either look at subjects and we'll go into, for example, let's go to year nine. And um, here are the lessons. So there's, you can see there's an absolutely massive variety. We'll look at English, for example. And this is divided into topics. So we have Gothic, the Gothic canon, um, Gothic literature. Then we use the Telltale Heart here. And now the reason why um, Gothic is a theme is that that is um, relevant to the GCSE texts. Jekyll and Hyde or Christmas Carol. Now we do Christmas Carol, so I've looked at these lessons and actually they're skills based. You don't have to know the entire novel of Jekyll and Hyde because they use an extract, so you, students should be able to transfer their skills. And actually it's good practice to look at Unseen for the language GCSE. So that's one way you can get into the lessons. So if we go back and look at that for maths, for example, this allows students to target air particular areas. So here we have algebra, equations, expressions. So there we are. And we have um, the numbered lessons. The other way you can use this classroom is you go into schedule. And again, I'll look at year nine just so we're comparing. And this is broken down into weeks. So it gives you a schedule of learning. So the newest is at the top. It's the week beginning the 4th of May this week. And we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And it kind of gives you building blocks of learning across the week. And obviously, this builds on what's happened in week two and week one. And we'll go into a different year group. So you can see, let's look at, um, should we look at year seven? Again. Same as there, we'll look at some history perhaps. So it's split into topic areas, medieval power rebellion. And it's all those six lessons. Now, if we look at a lesson, will it make sense to look at lesson one, doesn't it? How did the feudal system help monarchs keep control? And we know that this is um, in line with the national curriculum. So you start the lesson and they'll is normally a quiz. There's normally a quiz that the students can take and they get the results straight away. So it's just kind of multiple choice. We use these a lot in lessons, multiple choice lessons in Do It Now and as part of our um, Triple E model. So the students will take the, the quiz and this will be getting them to think about prior learning and what they know already. And this next activity button here will go to the lesson. Now, every single one of these lessons has a video and students really like it very clear, it's very directed. They will be told when to pause the video, what, when to write something, when to um, engage in a particular way. And what's really fabulous about these lessons is there's not lots of worksheets to print out, there's nothing to print out, they just need to, to write things down and engage in that way. So in terms of resources, um, low effort. Um, because everything's there for you. There may well be additional resources or consolidation activities on that next activity button again, but students will be directed to that. So these lessons are incredibly well structured. They use something similar to our Triple E, where there's an explanation and um, the key knowledge the students need. There's modelling, where the, the teacher models something, usually using a visualiser or sharing slides and um, lots of questioning to prompt thought. There is deliberate practice where the students will have to stop the video and do something and then they get the feedback. So they're going to be very familiar with the structure. I'm now going to move on to the specialist part of the online classroom, which is here. So this may be relevant to you or you may feel that isn't relevant to you. 
So the specialist online classroom launched um, this week, this weekend. So it's really, really new. And you can see I've clicked on that. And this part of the classroom is divided into these areas. And if I just click on one, I'll click on communication and language. Each area has um, an introduction from a specialist teacher, not very long, aimed at parents and carers to outline how they can best use the lessons and the resources to support their children. It's thinking about what's most appropriate for the child in their care. So they're, they're not one size fits all. They're about using what's there most appropriately. So there's a, an introduction by a specialist. And then if you move down, there are lessons. And if we look, click on one here, I will show you that they're the same as in the mainstream section. So they have videos. Again, it tells you what you need before you start. So there's not a panic of going to get things. It tells you what you need. It tells you what you need to do. Um, and you pause it as and when you need to. If we look at um, perhaps the numeracy ones, so just going back through, I'll look at numeracy here. Again, there's an introduction. So there's an introduction from the specialist teacher who outlines what the the aims of this section of the specialist provision provision is and then the lessons now i've got to say i've looked at the videos and they are they're engaging um they're focused and again each of them has a video to guide so i hope you found that really helpful they are an interesting way and a um an engaging way to support our young people should they have access to IT. Thank you.